Hey, this is Stu, and I'm excited to show you the all-new Magic Bullet Looks 4. Let's uh, apply Magic Bullet to this clip, hit Edit, and we've got the familiar Magic Bullet Looks interface. You know how it works. You apply a tool to any part of the shot from the subject all the way to post and adjust it. Of course, the real power comes from the presets, and in Looks 4, we have over 50 all-new presets. Here's a bunch in a group called Neighborhood. Here's some called Analog Tribe. and the familiar blockbuster presets that you're used to. I'm going to choose this preset called Nap for this shot. Now you can see the familiar scopes here that you can turn on and off, and our good old skin overlay that helps you see when your skin tones are lining up correctly. But the scopes are now resizable, which is amazing. You can see a lot more detail in the scopes depending on your monitor size, lets you customize your setup a little bit. And on the hue saturation scope, you can zoom in to see detail in the lower saturation area in the middle. The other thing I really like is the memory color scope, which is showing us kind of our cardinal colors here. We've added neutral gray, so you can see which of the items in your shot are actually lining up as perfectly neutral gray. Now before we do anything else in looks, I want to show you a really important thing, which is that when we pop out here, note that my timeline is still yellow. That's right, Magic Bolt Looks is now Mercury optimized in Premiere Pro for real-time playback. So no matter which look you apply, no matter what you do in there, Magic Bolt Looks is going to play back in real time. Some of these presets use some new tools. This one uses Mojo 2, which, like the standalone Mojo 2 effect, is kind of a handy shortcut to some of the common ways that we love to make our footage look better. You've got controls here for Mojo, the tint of the Mojo, an easy kind of fade control that brings up the black levels a little bit, and very powerful controls for blue squeeze for unifying the, the blue colors in your shot, as well as skin squeeze for unifying all the warm colors in your shot. There's exposure in here and cool warm. I'm really liking the way this is looking. Another new tool in Looks 4 is Renoiser. Like the standalone plugin, Renoiser is great for adding realistic film grain as well as just simple noise to your shot. There's a bunch of presets you can choose from. I'm going to choose Kung Fu Fighting. If I zoom in here, you can see that we've added some really nice textured noise. And it's more than just noise that's applied on top of the shot. It really is a textural kind of a noise. If you turn it off, you can see the difference. Really cool. Again, all of that noise included plays back in real time in Premiere. Last new thing I want to show you is that inside of the Colorista tool, we've got the traditional way of adjusting contrast and the curves and highlights and midtones, but you can also just click and add a point to the curve and adjust a point curve, just like you can in the new Colorista 4. No matter how many points you add, though, you don't give up this parameter control. You can still adjust those and your points, make your shot look exactly the way you want. Now, if I scrub down the timeline here, you'll see I've got another shot from Tokyo here, and I'm just going to take this look copy and paste it onto here. The problem is this second shot is really green and kind of odd looking because I shot it through the window of a subway car. But this is a great opportunity to try out a new feature of Magic Bolt Looks. I'm going to go to the first shot and you'll see up here we have a new button. I'm going to click it and take a snapshot of this image. And now you'll see we've stored it up here in a new area of looks called the reference library. So when I go to the next shot, I can choose that reference image and it comes in on a split screen. This doesn't render into my final shot, this is just so I have this shot as a reference. I can always tuck it away completely, or wipe it completely over, and find just the right spot for the split so I can compare the two shots together. Go into Colorista here, make some adjustments to try to pull that greenish tint out of this shot. Maybe just boost the exposure a little bit. Now I've got a much better match between these two shots. I've got a seamless cut between the two. There's another really useful aspect to the reference library, which is that you can just load in any shots you want. So I've got here a JPEG that I could load off of my hard drive, but I can actually multi-select a bunch of these. Click open, and now I've got a big library of reference that I can pull from. Another thing I want to show you about looks is a new way of dealing with log footage. So we've got some nice 4K log footage here. We're shooting more and more log every day. Let's apply looks, and I can take a look at some of my presets here, but they're all looking a little bit low contrast on him, and that's because this footage is log. Well, there's this new section here that you see called My Footage Is. Click on that, and I can choose from a bunch of presets. I'm gonna choose S-Log2 
for this shot, and then boost up the exposure a little bit. Now these adjustments are independent of the look. They stick no matter what look I apply. So I go over here and now all my presets are starting to look a lot better. So I'm gonna pick this one to start with, but then I'm gonna go grab that last reference image here and maybe tweak it a little bit. Get a much better match. And now even in this 4K clip, and get real-time playback, even just on this garden variety iMac I'm using here. So that's Magic Bullet Looks 4.0. 50 awesome new presets, Mercury playback in Premiere, new ways of dealing with log footage, resizable scopes, and an all-new reference library feature for comparing shots.